Yeah, so hi guys. Um, I quickly want to do this video to just talk about um BTC and ETH. I hope I would not um stay too long on this video. So let's quickly look at what um is building up here. I will try my best to make this um, straightforward and um, yeah, straight to the point. So first and first, um, I'll be switching some from different time frames. So, um, so let's start from lower time frame now. Um, we have these um, and inverted head and shoulder building up here. So, um, what does this mean? Um, just like um, just like what happened um here, just like what happened here here and here and you can see it came down to this level so the same thing would likely um play out here too as well so um what should we be expecting in this come on guys so what should we be expecting here yeah i updated this on my signal um channel um we're seeing this 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 formation here we're seeing this formation here so we're seeing this formation here. So um, we're seeing this uh, left, see this left shoulder. We're seeing this head around here, and um, we're seeing this. So why I'm making this, why I'm expanding this, is because um, um, we have this major resistance here one two three four and five so if price gets to this level we might get a push back down but it is very important when we violate this um psychological level here it's it definitely push to the upside so so um if and um only if price breaks um out from this from this um from this chart pattern so we're looking at a target of um this which is the height of the head to the upside so we're looking at this target so we're looking at this target so um like a move back up to um test to test this level around here so um there's still more to what i want to share with you guys um i think um the market is beginning to look um somehow bullish and uh, i had a previous um chat i think let me see if i can get that i think bit is a bit stamp yeah so um if you guys can still remember when i shared this this um analysis on my twitter so i said um price um this is what we we'll call a uh think shark bullish shark harmonic chart pattern so um first in the first we'll get um we'll get this leg here why the first move up before we get a retracement to the downside and a push back up and um, finally we'll get to d so all these levels have their the way they calculate them using fibonacci extension and fibonacci retracement um, ratio so you don't just um, come up and say okay let me just draw this and one of the most important thing here is we we'll have the previous 2017 autumn high which is where price actually reversed and um, and uh, let me see come in let me remove these guys so um so what are the targets i'm looking at um i, I talked about these targets on some of my tweets um, i'm looking at a target of around here which is around 28k up to 30k it's um uh, it's very visible yeah so this is what i'm looking at and apart from this whenever i get um most of my um chart patterns and indicator pointing at 
pointing at one particular um I move to the upside then it say go ahead for me so let's look at ichimoku on the weekly on the daily time frame using the doubled cloud settings um okay let's let's look at the um, um, default settings first so let me go back to btc usd using um ftx so first thing first um you can see how um the cloud has just twisted from the cloud has just twisted from this um, um, bearish twist at this beginning here and you can see it is it has gradually moved to the bullish twist so we want price to leave this level and we want it to come out to this level here apart from that we want this green EMA to move out of the cloud too as well so it is very important to get this right so what about the double cloud settings so let's let's adjust this very fast double cloud settings is um 20 um 60 um 120 and um 30 yeah 30. so um so this is double cloud settings now it is very very important we want to see um we want to see let me remove the price we want to see this is tanken and this is kijun so we want to see the tanken crossing um crossing kijun from bottom to top which is um which will give us um, a bullish um cross so um we're waiting for the body of the candlestick you can see um the body of the candlestick is still below still below this cloud so we want the body of the candlestick to close inside the cloud and that's high probably to get an edge to edge which is this flat cloud and if you guys can still remember i told you guys we're looking at um uh, we're looking at uh 28 20 um, let me see um okay not 20 we're looking at um yeah 20 26 27 28 29 30 um so we're looking at those levels um for a possible move up okay so um what again what again i don't want to make this video to be too lengthy for you guys to see then another thing again i quickly want to talk about is um btc has um not moved back to its previous um um okay we have this previous resistance and um price ought to have moved back to the, this um, previous resistance that we have here um, different from what we have in eth eth has actually moved back to um, its um, previous um, um, support and you can see it here so um, let me move this so you can see the previous you can see the previous um, support here and you, you can see how price actually go to that level and um, it's it's even yet to break out that level which shows this 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 and this they are looking very strong but there's high probability this will break to the upside here uh, because of the ethereum 2.0 that is launching very soon so we have a lot of um, um bullish move that doesn't mean um price won't come down back so we need to be very careful with what we do at this time okay so um let me see this is um exactly what um i'm talking about you can see the eth has um price has bro broken inside the um cloud and um, there's high probability we're gonna get this price around here so this flat cloud around is very very important okay so um i think that is all let me see okay so to quickly um round up this uh, let me see um, we're waiting for this to play out the inverted head and shoulder to play out
waiting for this inverted head and shoulder to play out and you can see how price um, is moving gradually to the upside here so it's very important we don't um, just um, um, start looking at okay um this would want the body of the candlestick to close above this um, resistance before we we'll get that positive move to the upside um yeah i think that is all from um what i wanted to share with you guys it's been a while i dropped video on my youtube um that's not been really easy i'll try to keep up with um this consistent um video and i'll try as much as possible to make it short next, next time so guys um i think that'll be all from my side so happy trading and good morning